Welcome to Tech Talk, and uh, my name is Terry Gong, and uh, today we're going to talk about reinstalling OS X Snow Leopard 10.6. I made this training module for persons who desire to reload their Macs to factory specifications, or who have attempted to reinstall Mac OS X and, to their surprise, found the old profile and the old data was still there. And uh, this happened to me several times, so I thought this training module would be good for everyone. There could be a number of reasons on why you want to do this. You could have bought a uh, demo Mac and uh, need to reload from scratch. Or you might have bought your Mac secondhand from someone else. Or it may have gotten a virus or want to start with a uh, fresh operating system. Reloading to factory specifications is easy. Relax, after watching this video, you'll be a pro. I'll show you how to boot off an installation DVD and how to prepare the drive before actually installing the operating system or OS. Believe it or not, many people miss this step. There are six transitional steps to reinstalling OS X. Number one, turn, off your Mac, turn on your Mac and uh, put the DVD in the DVD drive. Number two, shut it down and restart booting from the DVD. Number three, select the install language. And number four, use disk utilities to erase the drive. Close disk utilities without exiting the installer. And six, continue and reinstall OS X. Let's start by making sure that your Mac is on and put the DVD in. The disc should look like this. Turn your Mac on and stick in your DVD. With the DVD in, shut down and turn it off. After shutting down your Mac, restart it. Turn it on while holding down the C key. And I quote, To start up from Mac OS X, hold down the C key as the computer starts up. Keep your finger on the C key until the Mac computer starts reading from the DVD. Perhaps seven to 10 seconds from the beginning of the round worldly thing. You should hear the DVD drive reading the DVD. Now choose your install language. At this point you're probably all excited and concentrating on the install Mac OS X screen in the center of the screen. But don't click continue because you first have to erase all the old data to make it like new. Please go to the upper left corner pull downs. Click on utilities, then click on disk utility. You are now in the disk utilities program and you're going to prepare the hard drive where you're going to put OS X. Typically, you would use the main drive labeled by Apple as Macintosh HD Drive. Click on your hard drive name by highlighting the drive name and click on the Erase tab. Note, if you are new to Mac or an old Windows user, tabs inside the window might be a no novel concept, but in the world of Mac, this is pretty normal. At this point, you can rename the drive and call it whatever you want. But if you want it factory new, call it Macintosh HD. Click on the Erase button. Then a verification pop-up, like, are you really, really sure, will come up. Click the Erase button again.
Now, disk utilities will first unmount the disk. Then, it will erase and remove the demo data or the data of the previous owner. It won't take too long, unless you decide to erase free space, too. Now it's time to reinstall OS X. With the drive partition in Erase, click the Continue button. The disclaimer, or User's License Agreement, or EULA, will now appear. Click Agree. Pick the hard drive. Click the hard drive icon to you get the green arrow. This is typical for Mac installations. Sometimes you'll be asked to drag an icon to a drive or drag an application to the application's folder. Then there's, of course, the progress bar. Mac progress bars are always fun to watch, especially at the beginning. They always start off with some super long, absurd time then it whittles down to the realistic or true reload time. At the end of the reload, the screen will then advise you that if you erased your disk drive, and we did erase the drive, that you will have to reload your applications with the application's DVD. Please remember to do so after initiating the operating system. You can reload your applications after you restart the system. The installation is basically iLife. Just put the application disk in once you finish registering and setting your Mac. Just click continue to the finish screen and click Restart to boot into your new Snow Leopard OS operating system. Now your Mac computer will be rebooting into Snow Leopard OS X 10.6. Of course, you'll see the welcoming video demo. And of course, you'll have to select the language and register your computer. If you don't see your country, Check the Show All Square and click Continue. Once you get your operating system set, don't forget to install your iLife applications. Just put the second DVD in and follow the instructions. This is the end of our presentation. Please watch or buy other training videos from Tech Talk, cinemaxjapan.com. Thank you for watching.